Hey guys, Rachel CPR here. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me for this part two of this haul video. My first haul video, the first part of this haul video is all about a prize that I won from Jackie, the other side of beauty. This video is going to be all about the drugstore products I have been trying over the last two months. If you haven't watched the first part after you watch this one, it's okay to backtrack and just go over to the other one and I'm sure you will enjoy it and you will see my sweetie Jackie, what she sent to me. I appreciate her so much. She is so sweet. You have to go and check out her channel. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to get right into this because uh, this is what I'm going to be going through, all of these products. So... Here we are. I am just going to grab whatever is on the top and I am going to show you exactly what I have been using. This is the Cream of Nature Pure Honey Moisture Replenishing Strength Hair Mask. And this is um, no sulfates or mineral oils and they do not have silicones either. They are, these are curly girl friendly. This is what it looks like. So I have the hair mask I have the curling mousse. I have the curl activator shrinkage defense. Don't know that I believe that. And I have the moisture moisturizing dry defense. This is the product line that I have from the Cream of Nature Pure Honey line. And this is a very good product line. But my hair, since I started using this, is so very moisturized that it doesn't really hold on to shape or style. I can't stretch my hair. I can't do anything. By the end of this video, my hair is just going to be um, really, really small because um, this room that I'm in is not air conditioned. I have a fan, but the fan is a little bit too loud. The um, camera picks it up too much. So this right here, it's just making it so that my hair is constantly drawing in moisture, which of course that is not a bad thing. If you have a problem with dry hair, this is definitely going to be a line that you are going to want to try because it is very, very reasonably priced, extremely reasonably priced. And there are always coupons for Cream of Nature where I am. So you can get them on different products or just like in your weekly mailer. So very good product line. Another one is the Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle Conditioner. I haven't purchased this in years. And when I went to Trader Joe's the other day to get my daughter some of her uh, gluten-free snacks, I went past this and I decided I would give it a try. And I also decided, and I also decided to give this Shea Butter Coconut Oil Hair Mask a try. Now this was just sitting there. I had never seen it before. And so I was reading the um, ingredient list on the back. This right here has silicones in it, but I thought it would be really nice to try when I want to wear my hair in a roller set or something, because that is when I do use silicone products in my hair. Um, I've used it once. I can't say that I liked it so much, but I will try to use it again and I'll get back to you on how I feel about that. But the tea tree tingle, tingle is really nice. It detangles quickly. Next, I have the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine. Normally, I use the, let's see, what is this called? The Pure and Clean line. I love this line right here. It is curly girl friendly. This one is not. I bought this because I, I said I was going to wear my hair straight and I didn't because it's been so hot. You know, it's the heat wave has been intense and so I just decided not to. I still use this and my hair doesn't necessarily like silicone products unless I'm wearing it straightened out. So um, I used it. It's nice, but it's not as good as the pure and clean line. So I'm not disappointed at, I, that I didn't like it as much as it was something I gave a try. It smells good though. And then, of course, these are not new products. I'm just always going through these containers, the Pure and Clean Gel. That's what I have in my hair today, along with the Curling Mousse from the Cream of Nature. I like the way my hair looks. I hate the way it feels. It feels like it has like a major film on it. And whenever I feel, my hands feel super um, rubbery and dry after I touch my hair, and I just don't like that feeling. But I like the way it looks. Okay, next I have another product line, which is the Cantu Avocado Hydrating Curl Activator line. Well, the well, it's the Cantu Avocado line. This is the curl activator. This is the curling cream. And then there's another part. 
And then I also have the styling gel, the moisturizing styling gel. I put it in this repurposed container because I didn't realize when I bought the gift pack that the gel had broken in the sealed container. And so the packaging was all sealed, but some I guess someone had dropped it. And it was such a good price that I ended up just keeping it and I just changed the container out. Now, this is a really good product line. Maybe if you do... Um, more twist outs because this again is another line that is super moisturizing and for me i need to be able to put my gel in my hair and get a little bit of a cast so that my hair stays for a few days like with using the products that i have been using like all of these high moisture products i have to definitely wash my hair every single day and and if i'm going to if i wash my hair one day and then that night I plan on going out somewhere. Normally I will rewash my hair because my hair doesn't hold up on any kind of style. So yeah, for wash and go, I don't like this so much. But again, my hair is very moisturized and I can't, I feel as if using like the wet plop method definitely doesn't work with this because my hair, number one, it never lets go, lets go of the wetness that it feels. And then the moisture is definitely locked in then. But again, Having a problem with moisture in your hair is not an issue. It's when it's when you have a dry problem. Yeah, that's the issue. <laughs> Lastly, I have the products that I shared with you last month, which are the Josie Curls. This is the cleansing shampoo, and this is the styling gel. I also have a conditioner upstairs. I didn't bring it down with me. And yes, yes, I do still like these right here. I don't feel that it is my favorite product line. The shampoo is good. It doesn't like strip your hair of its all of its oils, but I don't necessarily like love. Shouldn't say that I don't like it. I don't love the gel. And then the um the conditioner is nice, but it it just doesn't give me all of the moisture that I want. And then there is the uh the buttercream. No, it's uh, yeah, it's some kind of a buttercream and I'll of course put pictures in here about it, but the buttercream is nice. It's really nice. I just didn't find that when I used this exclusively for that month, I didn't find that my hair was wowed with softness. Whereas normally my hair is very soft, but when I was using this exclusively, I didn't feel that my hair was wowed with softness. And I that is something that's, that makes a big difference to me because that means it's taking me a step back rather than going forward or staying the same. So again, they are nice, especially at the price point. They're like $8.99 and $4.99 but I wasn't, I wasn't wild with the moisture factor. So that is all that I have for you today. Other than that, everything else I have been using are things that have been staple products in my product lines that I have shared with you many times before. Let me know if you've used any of these products or if you plan on using any of these products. I'd really be interested to know down below in the comments box. I look forward to talking to you. Thanks again for watching today. Bye guys.